Assalamualaikum everyone, my name is Nur Shazmi and in this video, I will explain to you about a program that I have built by using assembly language. The program that I have built is a main menu which consists of three options which is first is chapter 4, data transfer addressing and arithmetic. Second one is chapter 6 which is conditional processing and the third one is exit. As a beginner, trying to use more simple instruction but repetitive in order for me to understand what is going on uh, during the program execution. So uh, I'm using include Avin32. So here is all my data required in the uh, source code below. Uh, in short, uh, what this program can do is first when the user choose uh, one it will uh, direct or navigate the user to the chapter 4 and all the options or sub-chapter in the chapter 4 Next, if the user choose uh, 2 which is chapter 6 conditional processing the program should navigate the user to uh, chapter 6 uh, of uh, sub-chapter If the user uh, want to go back to the main menu every sub-chapter should have this back to main menu which the user can uh, choose number 6 to back to the uh, main menu here it is also the same for for the chapter 7 eh, chapter 6 I'm sorry here we have the back to, back to main menu option so let's take a look to the main procedure first is move EDS to offset from call write string and call crlf which is uh, it is used to display the prompt the prompt here is here this after that is move edx offset menu call write string and call crlf to display the menu here this menu so after program had print out the menu and the prompt by the user need to uh, insert any input either one or two or three by using this instruction call read in after after the user input the instruction so the program will compare the input with one and two and three if the program finds out that uh, 1 is equal to EAX then the program will jump to level 1 uh, this process uh, goes the same to uh, input 2 and input 3 so if the user if the user uh, use input 3 the program will invoke exit process which terminate the program uh, right away so next we'll move to uh, level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So these levels represent every subchapter is consisted in chapter 4 and chapter 6. I've arranged uh, the level according to chapter 4 subchapters followed by chapter 6 subchapters. L1 and L2, uh, L1 is for chapter 4 menu and level 2, L2 is for chapter 6 uh, menu <laughs> from L3 until L7 uh, is for subchapters in chapter 4 and L8 to L12 is uh, the subchapters in chapter 6 so when the user insert uh, number 1 which is represent uh, the chapter 4 it will go to L1 here so this is the same process move EDX offset prompt calls uh, write string calls CRLF 
So this is to display prom, which is this one. The chapter for prom, this and menu. Then it will uh, receive input from the user by using call within and compare the input uh, with EAX. So if the user input any of 1 until 6, it will jump to a coding level. Okay, next, if the user choose to insert number 2, it will jump to level 2, which is uh, this is the me the menu for chapter seven, a uh, chapter six. I'm sorry, chapter six here, which is a conditional processing, and uh, the user need to choose any option below. It will do the same process. It will uh, I move from EAX to EBX to avoid any confusion and uh, avoid the program to read the chapter 4 instead of chapter 6. So from here we will compare the input uh, uh, which is we have moved to EBX with any input uh, that we that the program has taken from the user. Uh, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 option which is 6 is for back to main menu and 1, 2, 5 is for option in chapter 6. Next, as you can see here, from L3 up until L L12, it is the same uh, code except for the prompt number, which the prompt number is I have differentiated accordingly. Here, this is from 11, from 12, from 13, 14, 15. So uh, the prompt that start with one. Uh, is for chapter 4 and the prompt which start with 2 is for chapter 6. After jumping to the label according to the uh, desired uh, option by the user, the, all this label will execute uh, the same code which is uh, it will print out all the string uh, that I have uh, declared up here at dot data and it will jump back to the chapters menu uh, for example for L3 to L7 it will jump back to level 1 which is a uh, chapter 4 menu and for L8 level 8 up until L12 level 12 it will jump back to L2 which is chapter 6 menu Okay, so now we will try to run this code. So here, welcome to assembly language. Please choose any option below. I will try to choose uh, 1 as a, uh, a number for chapter 4. Then it will show you all the options in the all the subchapters in the chapter 4 which is data transfer and so on until 6 is back to main menu. So if I choose uh, 1, it will direct to data transfer instruction. Here, data transfer instruction. And it will display all the uh, all the content which is operand type M, uh, move instruction, move zx instruction, move sx instruction and exchange instruction direct offset operand so each of it I've included uh, one example of how to use the instruction which is here move al and bl this is same goes to all the all the options which is here
but it still obey uh, the, a few conditions that I have stated at the beginning of this video which is the first is user uh, should be allowed to navigate to all subchapters and can uh, return back to the main menu and the user should only exit from the program from the main menu only so I think uh, that's all for today thank you